Would you like to integrate contextual AI's RAG agents with your other LLM powered apps? Let me show you how using an MCP server. Here I'm working in Claude, but I need financial information that's within contextual. I can take advantage of contextual RAG agents to provide an answer all while staying inside of Claude. Now we can support a wide range of workloads across our agents. Here I'm getting code snippets based on technical documentation held by a contextual RAG agent. Let me show you how all this works. Now before MCP Server, if I wanted to use Contextual's RAG agents with a client application with another LLM, I'd have to connect up using our API, which isn't that hard, but MCP adds another level of abstraction that makes it easier because now with MCP, once I create my MCP Server that's connected via the Contextual API, now I have a very unified way, a very easy way to be able to take that information, use it in that client. Let me start by showing you what our, M our MCP server. Now the good stuff starts with the contextual MCP server. We've made this freely available on our GitHub. Now, if we go into it, you'll see we have a readme that's well-documented that explains everything, but let me give you a quick hint here on some of the magic that happens. If we go inside the server file, this is where you define how all the things that we're going to be able to do with the client. In this case, we've kept it very simple. You'll see we've just got the query. And if you look at the, the language there, it's, it's the same API that we used in the Python client to talk to the contextual RAG agents. And the information you'll see here is we've passed the API key, the agent for the particular, um, the particular RAG agent we're using and it's gonna be able to then use this MCP server to query that. Now, when is it gonna query it? That's where this doc string comes into play. Now here we have a very generic doc string that says, anytime you're trying to do a question about specific knowledge base, we want you to use the RAG agent. But let me show you a different one. Here's the server.py file for the examples that I showed earlier. Now, I started off by using Claude Finance Here's the query that I had where I said, give me a RAG agent that will answer financial questions for tech companies. So that's when Claude Desktop decides to use the contextual RAG agent instead of trying to come up with the answer itself. Similarly, when I was inside of Cursor, I had given it specific instructions that if we've registered this RAG agent as a tool, so if you see questions related to NVIDIA Jetson or RealSense, you should use the contextual RAG agent. Okay, now that I've got my server configured, I can have it running. I can have it running up in the cloud, or in this case with, with Cursor, I have it running locally. Let me show you that. If I go to MCP here, you'll see that I have this server running locally, and this is the command right here for running it. I've got it sitting inside my code directory, inside my kind of my local machine. That's the command to enable it and get it running. Now, to point this all there in there, all I had to do was to edit a small config file to do this. I did a similar thing with the Claude desktop, and this is once you've done this, you can then integrate that MCP server directly with Cursor. This example is just the beginning. There's lots more functionality available via the contextual APIs that you could integrate into an MCP server. You could have, for example, multiple agents going on. You could work with changing prompt settings, changing retrieval settings, pulling down metrics, all those API commands available, you could integrate in your MCP server to make life easier for however you're gonna be using it. All right, thanks so much. Reach out if you have any questions about the MCP server.